Hello everyone, welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Um, here we are with Andre. Uh, our build's looking a little different. Um, I bought a new shield and I put on the helmet that we got from killing the gargoyles. And we're going to head down this way. Um, like I said, the next area is through this door here. And this is kind of an optional area. So we're going to just clear through it, grab all the useful items that we want, and come out stronger. So where we are is Dark Root Garden. And I do want to sort of speed things along because we got a lot on the agenda and I want to make sure we don't run out of time. So, uh, as you can see, there's these grass things that we have to fight. They're going to go down real easily. Our, uh, and there we go, Dark Root Garden. Um, so yeah, these grass guys, well, they got these big vine whip attacks. Uh, they're not too bad, but they can... They do have some special attack where they'll try to grab you and suck out your life, so you want to watch out for that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's a very sort of dark, dank jungle. Um, that item up there is something we're going to want to work towards, which I will mention in a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. And I don't have any stamina. But yeah, as you can see, the halberd is a pretty cool weapon. And these guys will drop... Uh, Moss, by the way, which can uh, temporarily heal some status effects. Um, Blood Red isn't too useful because I find that I never really have to use it, but they will be dropping some poison heal stuff, which will be important. Um, so, proceeding down this way, um, I didn't know about this item the first time I played. Um, just a soul item, so no big deal if you miss it, but it, uh, like I said, they do add up. So, um, yeah, to sort of stop and smell the roses a bit. Um, not that there's many roses, it's all just kind of green. Which, you know, it's nature, it's cool. But uh, as you can see here, um, this is definitely sort of like an ancient ruins kind of area um, that has sort of been retaken by land. Uh, so this is a uh, secret door which we can't actually open yet. Uh, we're not concerned about that area yet. Instead, let's go ahead and smack this wall to reveal a hidden bonfire. Yep. And uh, you actually could peek it if you went over on the edge and looked around to the side. But um, I just knew about it, so I just went ahead and got it for us. So yeah, we straight shot from the from the start over there, um, right to here. You just have to fight some basic enemies. Not too bad. So we're gonna proceed this way. And coming down here, um, don't grab that item. So it's a small little soul item, but the problem is you'll get ambushed by a bunch of guys. And I can actually show you like. You can see them hiding here, and they're only going to pop out if you take the item. And the problem is, every time you run back through it, they're going to be awake, and then they're going to chase you, and that's a whole big deal. So let's go through here. Uh, this is not a boss fight. And see what we got. So for this area, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the Black Knight Sword, because we're going to want to make sure we're hitting as hard as we can. Um, so before we proceed that way, over here is a very suspicious tree, which we can kill in two swings. Normally you have to really peck away at that, but we, uh, we invested into the sword here, and it's going to do us a lot of good. Uh, so then you got these stingray frog looking things. Um, yeah, they'll just give you a little smack, but they're mostly harmless. And they will drop if... Okay, I didn't get a drop, but you can get um, an item which will give you more stamina. Uh, regeneration rate from them. Uh, we're going to see a few more up ahead, so hopefully we get one then. But first, let's just cut down another tree here. And come through this forest area. I believe if we go over here... Um, oh yeah, so we're going to see one of these guys. Uh, these are the stone knights. And okay, here we go. There's a lot more, like I said. So let's just try to kill this guy first. Oh yeah, two shots. That is really good. Uh, so let's try to survive the ambush here. And see if we get lucky. And, well, no one... Oh, he fell through the map. Cool. Alright, well, none of them wanted to uh, give me the item that I was talking about, but it's fine. Um, as you can see, too, the ragdolls are in full effect on these big guys. So feel free to have some fun with them. And I think somewhere around here... Oh, there's one more. Let's see if he'll give us what we want. Any luck? Nope. Okay. But right here, you'll find Soul of a Proud Knight. So, circling back here. Um, now remember, we just took a sort of detour. If 
moves from that direction, and now we're going to proceed up this way. And if we work on up... And remember too, you can always just run past all these guys, no problem. And just grab what we're about to get here. So up here, there's another knight. Um, oh, and I can showcase the strong attack. You really wind up for this, and it's very hard. One shot, no problem. Anyway, up here is one of the best uh, rings in the game, the wolf ring. So, uh, what does this thing do? Let's uh, go ahead and put it on. Uh, we don't really need our old witch's ring yet. This is just has a very s special, unique spot, which we'll get to down the road. But we're going to replace it with the wolf ring. And so what this does is it boosts poise. And um, this is an item from Artorius. We've seen that name before, and we're going to see it more. He, uh, he was one of the Knights of Gwyn who... Um, if you remember in the opening cutscene of the game, he was that old guy that threw the lightning bolts. Um, he's essentially, you know, like the quote-unquote uh, good guy in the game. Um, the starter of the Age of Fire. Oh, well, something died just now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Gwyn had his trusty knights, as it said in his cutscene, and we can just jump down here, which will take us back. Oh, and these guys respawned. So be careful. Um, anyway, so... Oh, and here's the poison moss I was talking about. So Artorius, yes, he was one of the Knights of Gwyn, and uh, there are four Knights of Gwyn. We're going to eventually see all of them, um, but Artorius we're only going to know in name for now. And uh, if you remember too, that was the item Andre was selling was the Crest of Artorius. Uh, that's actually how we opened this door here, but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, but Artorius is a really cool guy, and he's going to be very relevant to uh, what we're trying to do. So anyway, I'm going to keep using this Black Knight Sword, because being able to one-shot those big stone giants is going to be very handy. Um, for a reason which I'll try to demonstrate in a second here. So yeah, come back here. Uh, that's the route we took there. So now we're going to proceed through the main area this way. So first let me wake up this guy. And we'll see if he wants to cooperate. Um, so okay, he's coming in for the attack. I think if you get really close to them is when they're going to activate this special thing. I should start praying soon. Yep, here we go. So if he activates this and you get caught, you can't, you cannot um, move fast, which is going to be a big problem. Cool. Well, <laughs> that's what I get for trying to demonstrate what happens when you try to roll. Um, if you noticed, my guy didn't even like attempt a fat roll. He just sort of stood there in defeat. Um, so yeah. Luckily it doesn't set us too far back. Um, I am going to quickly use a humanity because we are going to need to summon someone. Summon someone. <laughs> Say that five times fast for this next fight. So let's go ahead and reverse our hollowing. Just like that. And uh, let's actually kill the stone giants instead of uh, demonstrating game mechanics this time maybe. And then we'll see what we can find. Because there is, uh, like I said, there's a lot of cool items in this area, which we want. Um, so go ahead, here's our souls. And let's not pull our punches this time. Let's, uh... Now you do have to wait, because when they're getting up, you can't actually hit them. So just give them a second, and then you can kill them. No problem. So I do want to clear the area a little bit, because up ahead is a major ambush. Um, okay, so first over here, though, is a sort of hidden little area. You'll see this, uh, oh, well, behind you, this guy will spawn and smack you in the back if you're not careful. But we'll take care of him, no problem. And then over here we have a snake. Um, he will poison you if you let him bite you. We're going to just hit him first. And here we find the Partisan, which is um, a cool spear weapon. It, uh, it has a cool sort of like swinging attack instead of a strong stabbing like most spears do. So it's like a little niche item, but... Give it a try if you're interested in spears, but otherwise it's nothing too special. So anyway, over here, um, yeah, a lot of these guys will just attack at once, and yeah, we gotta be careful here. Oh boy! Okay, we're alive, we're alive. Let's just fall back a bit, heal. Do a little bit of that. Let's see if we can get the strong attack. Oh, wow, but we uh, staggered him there. Just a bit of quick attacks, finish them off, just like that. Cool. So I will clear the area out a little bit more. We're lucky that they didn't all attack us at once, which tends to happen for me, because that's when it becomes a little hard to manage. 
Okay. Attack first. Okay, yeah. The camera can really be annoying here. But yeah, if you notice there too, we just took a direct hit to the face and it we just stood still. That's our wolf ring doing work for us. Because it gives us a total of forty poise, which is the equivalent of a full like set of proper armor. Let's just see if we can yeah. So speaking of proper armor, here we have one of the coolest sets in the game, the Elite Knight set. And we're definitely going to be uh, rocking this, at least pieces of it. So let's uh, go ahead and put... I'll put on the full set for you guys. Sort of do a little bit of modeling here. And you might actually recognize this. This was the armor set that the uh, guy in the asylum who saved us was using. Um, it's still a bit heavy for us, so we're not going to be able to use all of it right now. Um, I will switch to the hard leather armor. That... Yeah, still need a little bit more. Maybe our... Shoes as well then. Um, yeah, that'll be good enough for now. So this to me is also one of my favorite sort of uh, fashion souls is what it's called, where uh, you're just looking for armor. I like the more practical, like proper knight helmet with the not with the leather chest piece. Um, I just think it looks kind of, I guess, um, something you'd actually like see a guy on an adventure wear as opposed to like a big bulky set. Um, so we got one more of these guys. We're just going to take care of him real quick. And up ahead, we're going to see another summit sign, but it's kind of hidden. So go ahead and smack these bushes out of the way, and we can summon Witch Beatrice. So Witch Beatrice, um, she's an interesting character. She uh, She's known to have traversed the Abyss, which I don't think we've actually seen too much of yet. But um, this whole area, Darkroot Garden, has a lot to do with the Abyss, which... Um, Again, we'll, uh, once we start crossing that bridge properly, we'll get there. But um, just so you know who this is that we're actually summoning, she was known to have actually been able to visit the Abyss and come back. But uh, anyway, for this next fight, um, she's going to be doing most of the work for us, and we'll see why. So up there is a pretty butterfly. Oh, well, not up her skirt. But <laughs> right here is a real moonlight butterfly. And um, this is an interesting fight because yeah it's just gonna shoot lasers at you which you can't do much of unless you have a projectile so if you're like me you'd have to just sort of stand by and wait but since we summoned Beatrice she's gonna do a lot of work for us so while it's focused on you you just want to sort of dodge and weave and try to not get hit and heal when you can oh and watch out for this one too ah. She's uh, she's just going to keep crouching. Okay, and so the thing is, if you didn't summon her, this is what you want to wait for. Um, it'll come down, give you a chance to smack it. But, um, yeah, Beatrice made it a lot easier for us. Because that fight can just take a long time without her, and if you're melee. Um, if you come up with spells of your own, or a bow and arrow, um, you can also shoot at it. But uh, we don't have that, we just have our sword. So we're going to come up here uh, and get our reward. So we did get a lot of souls, which was nice. And I think also, this is our first, if I believe I'm correct here, our first boss soul. And so these things here, yeah, soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. Um, some bosses will give souls, and you can use them to make special boss weapons later in the game. And uh, we're going to be doing that with a certain one um, for the build we're going for. But the Moonlight Butterfly, we don't care about. it. You can use it to make a magic weapon, which isn't too relevant for us. But up here, uh, we're going to find... Uh, one of Andre's relatives, maybe. Um, it's not too clear. He's just a quote-unquote blacksmith. Um, but anyway, he's got a basement key and a divine ember and a homer bone. Um, but the first two items are the special things. Uh, the divine ember, that's uh, one of those embers I was talking about, which you can use to ascend a weapon. Uh, the divine ember is used to make holy weapons, which are for the cleric builds, which was with miracles and all that. Which, again, we're not ready for that at the moment, so... But we're still going to give it to Andre once we're done here, so you can see what he has to say. But anyway, we are going to head back down here, and I think I might as well actually just homeward bone. They gave it to us, may as well use it. Now, as for what we want to do next, um, we just have one more small area that we want to check out, and that's going to be in this direction. Go back to my Estus. And um, I think I will actually switch back to the uh, halberd. I think I did say I wanted to showcase that. Yeah, because it's very tempting to just use the Black Knight Sword, but as you can see, it's a little, it's a little too strong. Um, 
there's going to be moments like, you know, with the Stone Knights, because like if we were poking at them with this Halberd, we'd have a much harder time. But um, I'll just save it for situations like that. Plus it'll make it more, more cool, right? Like, if it's time to bust out the Black Knight Sword, you know, something serious is going down. But, you know, when it's the Halberd, then we're just, we're just chilling. So we're heading back this way. But um, this is where we came from, uh, where this guy is. Well, just kill real quick. But this is, again, another thing that's easy to miss, because you'll just keep walking and walking. But if you turn here, we have another route to go. Um, don't run off too quickly, or you're going you're gonna to fall off and die. Um, so yeah, just circle around here. Be careful, because it can be a little tricky to tell where you exactly you can or can't walk. So just sort of follow the path. Don't make any too many quick sudden movements. And then uh, here we're in Darkert Basin, which is technically a separate area, but... Uh, it's mostly all the same to me. Uh, so as you can see, we have a crystal lizard here. Uh, this is one that we have to really jump for, because if we're... Okay, so this is a good time to demonstrate. Um, if you miss your crystal lizard and it disappears like that, all you have to do is quit out and start the game again, and they'll all respawn. So let's go ahead and do that. And this time we can smack him, no problem. Oh, there we go. And we're going to get some more Twinkling Titanite, which we can use on our Black Knight Sword. And speaking of Black Knights, if we come on down this way... Oh, I may have spoken just a bit too soon. Um, before that, if we head over here, we can find some more armor. The leather set, as well as a longbow. So uh, that's just like your standard archer armor. Um, but I do like that a lot, because that's like a nice sort of um, lightweight armor, I guess you could say that uh, you can sort of mix and match with pieces, which um, I'll probably do at some point. So down there is our last uh, major item of the area. So coming around here, we have a Black Knight, and this one has a weapon that we haven't seen yet. So again, like always, I like to always draw them out to somewhere with a little bit more elbow room. And as you can see, this guy is using a halberd of his own, which, okay, I messed up that. And he got me. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I uh, I may resort to the Black Knight Sword here because yeah, this is gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a tough battle. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try this again. This time uh, we'll be a little bit better armed. So that's where he's down this way. Down. Yeah, no, I uh, I suck at parrying this guy because he does so many spins and it's hard to get the timing down. So we're going to just fight him the old-fashioned way. Um, I am still mid-rolling, so I'm a little bit worried. Um, hello? Oh, there he is. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this here. Oh yeah, there we go. Just got to land two more hits. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. And he'll always give a blue type night chunk. Um, again, we uh, we could have gotten his weapon if we were lucky, and uh, we'll have a chance much farther down the road. But um, that knight specifically is your chance to get it early, um, just like we got this sword. But having this sword is honestly like we got pretty lucky with that, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck there. Um, so anyway, down here is uh, what he was guarding, and this is a really cool item. This is the grass crest shield. Uh, what this sword, I mean, what this uh, shield will do is if you check the description here, you can see that it says it boosts your stamina recovery, which uh, it does. The only like sort of fine print is that um, it doesn't recover it as much as you would think. It's like such a very small amount that you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and anyway, in here, there actually is a bonfire. Um, this leads to sort of a random sort of, again, side secret kind of area, you can call it. But we're not too concerned with that right now, so we're just going to leave that be. So if we come up here, um, we still have just one more thing, one more piece of business to attend to, and then we're done with this area. If we head on down this road, or I guess very loosely using the term road here, um, up this way. Now to the left, you're going to see something very large and menacing. Uh, we're not going to mess with that today. But 
we are still going to mess with something pretty large and menacing. So that watchtower basement key that we got from the uh, from the butterfly will open this door. And uh, behind this door is a very uh, infamous character. So watch, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll walk in, you walk in, and oh, hello. Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's what will happen. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, let's see, uh, take two is the charm here. Now, our weapon is still, you know, strong as we know, but this guy has got a lot of armor. So, it's, this is guy, this is the kind of guy that you can sort of shamelessly backstab. Just like this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Usually I fight this guy a lot earlier, which um, I'll explain in a second here. But so it, you'll be doing barely any damage if you fight him the other way. But um, at this point, we've got a decent enough weapon that this shouldn't take too long. In fact, he's already almost dead. Let's see if I can finish him off here. Yeah, there we go. So that's Havel. Um, Havel the Rock, as he's known as. Um, he's a really interesting character. Um, he he isn't one of the knights of Gwyn, um, but he is one of Gwyn's old buddies that helped him fight the dragon. Um, he's more on like the you know clerical bishop route. He's known as a bishop, I believe. And um, you know he hates dragons and he hates magic. And um, he was locked in the basement for some reason. And uh, we'll have some more some more leads on his story. But all we gotta know is that when you kill him, you get an, another really awesome ring. <laughs> And uh, what this does here, if we go ahead and go to our rings, uh, we don't want our blue tear sun ring because we're going to be using this from now on. Uh, Havel's men wore these to express faith in the leader to carry a heavier load, which is exactly what it does. Um, if you notice our equip load, which is right below our stamina in the middle here, right now it's 84. Without this, it's only 56. Yeah, so it gives us, like I believe, one and a half times as much. And so that means we're going to actually be able to use some of that armor. And um, I think now is a good, good time to explain exactly how the uh, armor works, or how your rolling works, is that if you have up to half of your weight, that's how you mid-roll. If you have your weight all the way up to um, what the equip load itself is, so 84 in our case right now, then um, that's how you fat roll, which is, you know, when your guy just sort of like does a pile driver. Anything above that, and your guy will... Uh, won't even roll at all. You'll do sort of what we did when we got hit with the spell from the stone giant. And then if you have a quarter or less of that maximum weight is how you can fast roll. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to balance the numbers. But anyway, up here, if we open the door using that same key, this guy might look familiar because we are back in the undead burg. Yep, this is the um, watchtower on the way up to fight the Taurus demon. And right here, was that door that I mentioned, if you had the master key, you can actually go down right away and um, fight Havel. And, you know, like I said, at this point, you're probably not going to have that great of a weapon, so that fight can uh, really be a pain in the butt. So anyway, we're going to go up this way, because this is actually going to lead to the next area that we have to go to. Um, so we're just going to go up here. This is where we fought the Taurus Demon. Um, I believe, yeah, they're still there, so watch out for them. So if we just keep on running along here, we will eventually... And actually, I just realized, rather than go super heavyweight, I think... Let's just see if we can actually light roll. So we're going to need about no more than 22, so... Oh, we're close, we're close. Um, we can try these leather gloves. Maybe just a little less. So I might have to... Maybe if I take off my helmet. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're light rolling. So that's really good. So let's go down this way. Um, and over here, if we open this door. Uh, so this is the bridge with the dragon, who I think we can make him show up if we feel like it. Get some easy souls when he burns everybody up. So yeah, uh, this door here, it opens with the key that we found by that gate um, in front of the church, if you remember, uh, right after the boar. Uh, the thing is, though, and this stumped me, and I had to end up looking it up on my first playthrough. Is like, you know, you'll you'll but you'll beat the gargoyles, you'll be at the bonfire by An Andre, and you'll think, oh, surely I have to go through somewhere around here. But really, this is where you got to go. 
and this is going to take us um, down to the next level. But before we do that, let's go up the stairs here and unlock another shortcut. Which again, might look familiar because here is the other side of that door. In the undead work again. And I don't know how I didn't take damage there, but take what we can get, right? Ooh. And yeah, fast rolling is very nice. As you can see. So we're gonna go and rest at this bonfire here after we do a little more clearing. And we'll end the episode by um, spending all these souls that we have. Which, if this guy can just not be annoying. Just like that. So yeah. We, uh, we got our hands on some pretty good drops today. Um, primarily our rings. Uh, we went from having just like nonsense rings to having, you know, now we can fast roll and we have just a bunch of poise. So, um, yeah, in fact, all of our poise right now is coming from the wolf ring. So let's uh, finish this off with some uh, leveling up. Which, uh, to be boring, I think I'm still just gonna upgrade our endurance. Although, I think if I get to 20 strength, is that what I need for the sword? Or is it 22? Let me, let me just double check that real quick. So if you go here, so this thing will require only 20 strength. So you know what, let's do that. We can try one-handing our sword here. And uh, we, uh, we eventually want 24 strength, so we're not like wasting any souls here or anything like that. But we're gonna get a few more points in endurance as well. And um, you know what, actually, let's get vitality up. <laughs> our health has been very low lately. Um, and now that as we start to proceed into the later levels, uh, we're really gonna start to feel what that's like. To, be so weak. Anyway, but that's uh, that's gonna do it for the episode today, guys. Um, we uh, we managed to get Dark Root Garden done in a decently timely manner. I think this will still be definitely one of the longer episodes I've had so far, especially if I just keep rambling here. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll pick things up again right here. So for now, that's gonna do it. See you guys.